Hello traders, FX Pipcolenti here. Today is Thursday, March 2nd. I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, we definitely made a very strong move to the upside. I think it's a wave A. I think the wave A is over and we're now going down to make a crescent to that wave A for the wave B. And eventually we should head back up to make a wave C. I still think this is all going to be a crescent to this last move down and eventually it's going to bounce off a of fib level and make another attempt to continue the downtrend. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. The weekly time frame is where you can start to see the higher highs, higher lows this whole way up for that wave A. Like I said, I do believe the wave A is over. I think we're already going down to make a question to that wave A for the wave B. And I expect to see another push up for the wave C. And like I said, eventually I do think we're going to end this question and make another attempt to continue down. So let's keep going down to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, definitely a little bit of a messy pattern compared to other dollar pairs, but what's important is that we're still making lower highs the whole way down. I still think this is all part of a wave A, and I still think we have some more downside potential to finish off this wave A before we go up and make a B and then back down to make a wave C. Just like I was shown before, most likely an A, B, C of B. So let's keep going down to the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, like I said, very messy pattern, but it is making lower highs the whole way down, which is a good sign that it's still trending down and that it's just an overlapping messy pattern because the pound has had quite a bit of strength lately. But it does look like the end of a crutching right here, probably like an A, B, C, D, E. And it probably is like a wave four, mostly looking at other dollar pairs is why I assume that. And we're probably going down for like a wave five right now. Probably even the final wave of a wave A, like a wave five of wave A is what I do expect to see. <coughs> so heading down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I do believe that's the end of a crutchin. It looks like a one, it looks like a two. This is probably all just trending down right now for wave three, four, and five of wave five. So as of now, I think we're in like a wave three of five. I'm definitely still looking for sorts unless the market goes up and takes out one of these swing highs. If it does it and it continues to make lower highs, then I'm just gonna continue to go sort at the end of these ABC pullbacks for what is probably gonna end up being a wave five of wave a so don't forget to join my free discord channel the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading